Hello everyone. God bless. And uh I'm usually um I always try to be careful about what I say on videos because I don't claim to be a prophet because I'm not. I'm not a prophet, I'm not anything special. I'm just a servant of the Lord, you know, I serve the Lord and oh well, he's the captain of my life. I'm the sailor, I'm the swabby, you know, I follow his orders. But there is one thing that's troubling me that I feel that maybe I should go ahead and warn the rest of you all about. Um, now, I'm not making any predictions because only the Lord knows, but in this country, the United States, this is the country I live in, well, um, we're in pretty serious debt. You know, the government is in debt, and they have not really been able to pay back their debts, so... You know how the government keeps on talking about, we must raise the debt ceiling, and they keep on saying that, they've been saying that for the last few years, well, there's going to come a point where one day they won't be able to raise the debt ceiling, so that means the economy will crash, which means that the government will fail, because, you know, money is a big thing that makes the government run, right? We all know that. Well... If they run out of money and their debt ceiling is not raised, and well, then guess what? Anyone who gets a government check, well, if the economy crashes, then you know, the money is useless all all around. But I'm speaking to those that, especially those that rely on the government, like you get a disability check, or you get SSI, you get a VA check used to being on welfare, well, I hate to say this, but, um, if the government fails to raise their ceiling, if they fail to fix their problems, which I highly doubt they're going to do, but one of these days they're going to get to the point where they're just not going to be able to, to handle it anymore, they're not going to be able to raise the debt ceiling, they're going to crash, and when they do, you will not be getting your checks anymore. You probably won't be getting your welfare check, you won't be getting your social security checks, or your VA checks. You're, you're gonna be broke. And, and you know, um, there's lots of, uh, rumors out there. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if they're 100% true, but it wouldn't surprise me that the welfare offices and the social security offices, they're arming their staff. Their staff has bullets and guns. So if there is ever a riot down at the social security office or welfare office, well, the staff may be authorized to shoot and kill people. I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I'm just, just trying to make you all think, just in case it gets to this point. And, you know, the Lord puts it on my heart to kind of wake people up and make them think. But I'm not here to prophesy. I'm not here to tell you, oh, I know this for sure. But I think that it's wise for you all to prepare for this time, just in case it happens. Because, you know, just face it, the government is just, they're in horrible debt. They, they just... They, they just, they're just failing, you know, they're failing at one thing after another when it comes to money, and they might be doing this on purpose or not, but regardless of what's going on, they're going to get to a point where they're not going to be able to raise their little debt ceiling, and no one's going to get their benefits for the month. So, um, y'all should at least try to prepare for that, you know? At least maybe stock up on a little bit of food or water, you know, just stock up on things that you need a little bit. I mean, I'm not trying to be a, a fear monger prepper type of person that's just trying to scare you all, but it's just a possibility that this could happen at any moment. And, you know, I'm in the same boat too. I mean, I get benefits, you know, so I'm in the same boat as well, so... I kind of do know what I'm talking about. Um, I have gotten some weird notices from Social Security saying that they're not able to raise the, 
you know, cost of living, and, you know, like, they're not going to do that anymore, they're not going to do that for me, and, and they even admitted and slipped up and pretty much said that they're not able to raise the cost of living pay. At least they sent me that notice. I don't know if they sent any, anyone else that notice, but I think that the government is about to crash as far as their money goes. So that means all of us are going to be affected. And honestly, if you want to know what I'm going to do about it if it happens, well, for one thing, honestly, um, I'm not going to go down to those offices, to those, what, those social security offices, because... You know, what if it's true? I know there's going to be a big riot when people don't get their social security. Those staff, they are government workers, so there is probably a, a very big chance that they're going to be armed with weapons, and they're going to shoot people. And honestly, I don't want to be down there just to get shot. Just over a, a measly social security check. I mean, yeah, social security is important, but... I just don't think for the little amount of money I get every month, it's, it's, it's not worth going down there and taking a bullet for. I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm not making any claims and any prophecies, but it's just a possibility. And me, um, like I said, I'm a hardcore Christian and I'm just putting my faith and trust in Jesus Christ and... You know, when the time comes, the time comes. And I believe the Lord will take care of those who believe in Him and trust Him. I mean, Jesus, you know, remember He fed the 5,000 people with fish and bread, the loaves of bread and fish, how He multiplied the food amongst all those people, thousands and thousands of people. So, that right there proves that, hey, Jesus can feed people. And you know what? If I don't get my social security check, well, I trust in the Lord, you know. And I know it seems kind of crazy, you know. I'm not really a prepper type, to be honest with you. I hadn't really prepped at all, to be honest with you. I just been living on one thing at a time, you know. And you know, I don't have big reserves or stocks of anything. I don't stock up on stuff. But I guess it's because I choose to do that. I just, you know, if I, you know, die because of this economic crash, then I get to go to heaven. Honestly, I'm done with living in this world. This world has become so evil and so twisted. I can't stand to be here any longer. I want to go home and be with the Lord, so... You know, if when everything falls apart and people are going to say, you're going to starve to death, you're going to thirst to death, you know, I'm just praying to the Lord that he'll give me the endurance to go through that. Hopefully the rapture will happen pretty soon. I'm hoping for the rapture because I'm praying for any scenario I think I might be in. I pray for the Lord to give me the endurance that if I have to suffer and die for his name's sake, a suffer and die period because the government fails and it just, you know, doesn't care about people anymore, well, then I pray the Lord will give me the endurance to, to get through the last days of my life. No matter how painful and they might be, you know, and at the same time I'm repenting of my sins, so when the Lord... When Father God decides that it's time for the rapture, you know, I, along with a very few true-hearted Christians, will be taken out of here. Because, you know, with the way things are going, I don't think this world can continue on much longer the way it is. So many things have gone wrong. So much corruption in the government. So much terrible spending. So much... This country I live in is just, we've wasted so much. And being wasteful, well, God's gonna, God doesn't like wastefulness. So we're gonna end up dealing with 
quite a few problems very soon. And we already have problems, but if they don't raise the debt ceiling, or they're just not able to anymore, because I just failed too many times, then then it's all chaos and hell is going to break loose. And I'm not going anywhere near those social security offices or welfare offices. I trust the Lord. Jesus Christ is my Savior, and you know, and I've already had my Social Security checked off quite a few times for no reason. So as ever, a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians that get benefits, you know, you know, some of us do have legit disabilities, and we're not lazy. We actually have legit disabilities. But I believe the government's been kind of picking on the Christians. They're going to pick on the Christians first. You know, the, end, the last day persecution, they're going to pick on the Christians. So, if you're a Christian, don't be surprised if they start messing with your, your money. Because they're going to pick on the Christians first. So we're the ones, we're going to be docked first. We're going to be punished first. So that's why I keep telling you all, please, pray for a spirit of endurance. Because we really are about to run out of time. I said, I don't claim to be a prophet or a date setter, but the urgency that I feel in my spirit, I, I pray to the Lord all the time, I'm reading the word, I'm, I'm just spending time with Jesus all the time, just praying and asking for wisdom and discernment, and this has been one thing that's really been eating at my heart, the fact that soon the world, the government, the economy that we have depended on all this time is about to fail miserably. Is about to miserably fail. And when that happens, all hell is going to break loose. And I just pray to God that, you know, the rapture happens because I'm telling you, it's going to be really bad. When people don't get their social security checks, they're going to riot. They're going to rebel. They are going to just go completely insane. And it's just going to be ugly. And I... And I will not be the least bit surprised if those social security staff have guns, have hollow point bullets, have all these weapons just ready to blow people away that try to come down to the office and riot. And that's why I'm praying for a spirit of endurance and a spirit of courage and, and, and grace to get through these hard times ahead. Because... It's up to the Lord what happens. You know, in the end, it's up to God. God will decide when he's going to rapture. God is going to decide when he's going to take the bride of Christ out of here. But, if it's not time for the rapture, and all this chaos does happen before then, then I'm praying for a spirit of endurance because, you know, the dockers of the world. Oh, you know, <laughs> I use that word docker. It's, it means, like, someone who takes things away. Because, you know, if you look up the dictionary, the verb, docker, it means to cut off, to take away, to diminish. The verb form of dock. I'm not looking, I'm not talking about a dock like a pier or a dock on the, on the, on the ocean. I'm talking about the word, the verb. You know, you gotta study your dictionary, people. Of course, study your Bibles first, but Crack open that dictionary, too, you know? Then you might understand when I use the word docker. It's like, the verb form dock, and then someone who docks. So, it would make sense to put the ER. It's like, the word hack, right? When someone hacks into a computer. What is a person called when they hack people? They're called a hacker. So, when someone is docking people, they're called a docker. So, <laughs> just think about that, you know? <laughs> But anyways, these dockers are going to take everyone's stuff away, and they are going to just, they're just going to make this world a miserable place. And I am just, especially to my brothers and sisters in Christ, if you happen to be depending on benefits of any kind, welfare, social security, uh, VA, uh, retirement, pension, whatever it is, please... Pray for a spirit of endurance because, and because when the government does not raise their debt ceiling anymore, when they just decide, you know what, we can't do this anymore, we, we can't handle this trillions and trillions of dollars debt, then you're going to lose all that. 
they are not going to pay you your pension anymore. You're not going to get your disability. You're not going to get your welfare. You're not going to get your food stamps. You need to pray for a spirit of endurance because only God is going to help you. The government is not going to help you. You're going to be left to fend for yourself and your families. Please, please, like, you've got to build your faith up in God right now. You've got to pray to Jesus. You've got to repent of your sins. You've got to let that Holy Spirit come into you and give you the discernment. And because if you don't, then you're just going to panic. And you're going to go into a frenzy because you're going to find that you can no longer go to the grocery store and buy food. Honestly, I think it's wise to stock up on oh, some food and water. But I'll be honest with you. I sh you, you were probably telling me I should take my advice, but I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't have any extra food and water. I'm, I'm just living on a prayer. I'm just living on faith all the time. <laughs> I, I get very little money, so... It's like, I'm, I'm always... I'm kind of like the living on the prayer type of Christian. <laughs> But, you know, um, it wouldn't hurt to stock up a little bit, if possible, but there's going to come a time when you're going to have to really ask for strength and endurance because eventually, you know, food's going to run out and there might a famine's going to happen, you know, and or if you happen to be here during the tribulation, if you're watching this video and some way, somehow it's still up and you're living in the tribulation, you know, they're telling you to take a mark on your right hand and forehead, right? So you can get your social security and your welfare. Don't do it. You really need a spirit of endurance then. Do not take that mark. If you take that mark, you forfeit your salvation and you forfeit your soul. It's called the mark of the beast. Read it in Revelation chapter 13. Do not take that mark. If you if you are here after the, the rapture, you're in tribulations already started, do not take that mark. I don't care if they try to swoon you into thinking, oh, well, you can buy and sell with this. Uh, hello? What does the Bible say about buying and selling in the Mark of the Beast? You read it in chapter Re Revelation chapter 13. You read that chapter. You read God's Word. But you need to read God's Word. Don't wait around and just think that you can just get ready when all hell breaks loose. No. No, you need to prepare now. You need, you need God. You need Jesus Christ. You need the Holy Spirit. If you're left behind and you're here during the trib, when all hell breaks loose, because hell can break loose even before the rapture, because you never know. You never know in these last days what could happen. But you need to trust in God like never before. Don't trust in the government. I know that many of you are thinking, well, well at the end of this week and the beginning of next week, we should be getting our checks, right? Because it's the going to be the, the beginning of November, right? Well, there may, there's going to come a day where they're going to not raise the debt ceiling anymore and people are not going to get paid. So, I just want to warn you all before all hell breaks loose because I love you all and I don't want to see anyone get caught off guard and go into a huge panic and frenzy because, you know, they're not prepared and just please prepare yourselves, and I just have a feeling in my soul that this is going to happen. Now, I'm not a prophet, but God is putting this on my heart for a reason. And we all know that the government is in trillions of dollars of debt, especially if you live in the United States. Now, in other countries, I don't know if they have Social Security and welfare. I have a feeling that when the United States economy crashes, then several other economies are going to crash along with it. So, I have a feeling that other people in other countries, if you're watching this, you'd be wise to, to prepare yourselves as well. Because when things in the United States go wrong, it's not going to be pretty, and it's not a pretty picture. Things are already going wrong. This time, this is this is the economy. This is what everyone has... We have been indoctrinated, unfortunately. We've been indoctrinated to depend on money all of our lives. we got to get out of that indoctrination. we got to start getting to the Word of God and depending on Jesus Christ. He'll take care of us, I'm telling you. He can feed you. 
I'm telling you, he can give you food. He'll find a way to give you food. And you know what? And if you're called to be a martyr, you might have to go hungry and thirsty. But you know what? When you go to heaven, you're going to have feasts up in heaven that are just beyond your imagination. You're going to be you're going to be feasting on heavenly food up there. You're going to be sitting and Jesus Christ is going to be sitting at the head of the table. You're going to get to we're going to get to have a celebration with the Lord and we're going to eat heavenly food and the and the tree of life and the and the great river of life up in heaven. We're going to be well taken care of even if we suffer here on earth. Just remember Jesus Christ has a wonderful future for us. So if you want to plan your future, stop worrying about your social security, stop worrying about your retirement pension, worry about where your soul is going. Plan a future with Jesus Christ. Because I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is not going to fail. He'll never fail. God can never fail because he's God. He's almighty. He'll never fail. But this government and everything in this world as we know it is about to end. Now, like I said, I'm not a date setter. I don't claim to be a prophet, but just look at the signs. If you open your eyes and you and you ask the Holy Spirit to give you discernment, you can see just how terrible our economy is doing. Just look how prices are just spiking, you know? It's like because people can't hold out much longer. The economy is about to fail. And I'm not talking about just a little failure like in the past. I'm talking about an epic failure. An epic failure that is just going to crash everything. Please don't be deceived. When the government says that they have everything under control, no they don't. If they had everything under control, they would have paid back that trillion dollar debt by now. The government, they do not have everything under control. Do not believe what they're telling you because... It, you sit back and you think, oh, I'm going to keep on getting Social Security until I'm dead. No. Especially if you're a young person on disability. Do you really think that even when you get to that point, when you're 60, 70 years old, if the world's even around by then, which I, I, don't, I don't even want to know. This, this planet can't hold out much longer. But anyways, you know, as far as the world as it is. Now, the Millennial Kingdom, yes, the planet will be here, but that's going to be a totally different world. But the planet as we know it now, the governments as we know it now, the world as we know it now, do you really think that it's going to be there for you? If we're in trillions of dollars of debt already, just within the last few years between Bush and Obama, then do you really think that 70, 60 years down the road, you think there's going to even be a social security system? I'll be honest with you, I highly doubt that. Let's just be real. Let's just be real, folks, and let's just prepare, and especially prepare our hearts and souls to be with the Lord, because that's the most important, that's the most important thing to do, because we're running out of time, and I'm not trying to be Miss Fear Mongler, because I always pray to the Lord before I do a video, I just want to warn people, because I care about people, as a Christian, I care about others, so please, Folks, wake up. Repent of your sins. Invite the Holy Spirit into your life and have Him open your eyes. Give you that eye salve, you know, so you can just wash your eyes out and you can see the truth. Please, we are in serious trouble with this economy, especially in the United States, and I don't think that other countries are doing much better. So please open your eyes, folks, and be ready. Pray for a spirit of endurance, because, I hate to say it, but money is running out. We are going to run out of money, and let's just face it, the economy is not going to last forever the way it is. Let's just be real. Let's just use our common sense, and most of all, use our discernment that the Lord gives to us. We gotta get real and start facing the truth now and praying for a spirit of endurance because if we don't, then we'll just fall apart when the economy does. Please don't be deceived when they say that they're fixing the economy because they're, they're not. 
They can only raise that debt ceiling so many times. Come on, use your brains. Even a mathematician will tell you that it's pretty much mathically impossible to continue to go along with the way they're doing. Everybody knows that debt is debt. And it's a minus. You know, There's nothing positive about a negative number. And for those of my brothers and sisters in Christ that are mathematicians, come on. Use your mathematician skills to try to educate the rest of the people out there. Use your God-given mathematical gifts to explain to people that the economy cannot go along the way it's going much longer. I love you all so much, and remember, you know what? With Jesus Christ in heaven, there's wealth that will never run out. Heavenly wealth. Money on earth is going to end. Money on earth is going to fail. The economies and money of this world may fail. But in heaven with Jesus Christ, that is where you need to be storing your riches. And that is where you need to plan your retirement. God bless you all and take care.